Last week, GitHub just dropped a game changer, GitHub Models. And some of you are probably thinking, wait, I could already use AI models. So why is this a big deal? Let's check it out in this video. Developers have been able to access and experiment with various AI models, including GPT-4, for some time through different avenues. Understanding how developers currently interact with AI models will help you appreciate the potential impact of GitHub models. One of the most common ways to access these models is directly through providers, meaning the companies that create them. Big names like OpenAI offer APIs that let developers seamlessly integrate AI capabilities into their own apps or simply experiment and play around. So to get started, you'll need to create an account on OpenAI's website and grab your very own API key. This key acts like a secret password and gives you permission to use their models. I highly recommend using Visual Studio Code for coding. It's a fantastic editor that works with lots of programming languages. And make sure you have Python installed. It's a popular language used in many AI projects. Once you are all set up, you'll need to install some specific packages using the pip package manager. These packages are building blocks that help you interact with AI models. And as a best practice, create a file called .env in your project directory and add your new API key in there. This way, your key stays safe and sound. All right. Now that we have covered the basic, let's do a code walkthrough. We import the necessary libraries, in this case OS for environment variable handling .env to load these variables from a .env file and OpenAI to interact with OpenAI's API. Using load.env, we load our environment variables, which include our OpenAI API key stored in a .env file. This file should contain a line like OpenAI API key is equal to your API key. We retrieve the API key from the environment variable and set it for the OpenAI client using openai.api key. We create an instance of the OpenAI client and then the generated text function sends a prompt to the OpenAI API using the client completions create method. We specify the model, prompt, temperature, and the maximum number of tokens for the response. We define a prompt called the generate text function and print the resulting story. OpenAI primarily focuses on providing powerful pre-trained models through their API. Fine-tuning these models often requires accessing beta features or enterprise plans, which may have restrictions and less documentation compared to open source platforms. Hugging Face emphasizes open source collaboration, offering extensive tools and resources for both using and fine-tuning models. The community-driven approach and freely available libraries make it more accessible for developers looking to customize models for specific tasks. Hugging Face offers comprehensive documentation and number of tutorials to guide you through the fine-tuning process step-by-step. Step. And here is a simplified example of fine-tuning BERT model for text classification. Here, the Transformers library provides a high-level APIs for training and fine-tuning models with minimal boilerplate code. For example, fine-tuning a BERT model for a text classification task can be done with just few lines of code. The Datasets library by Hugging Face simplifies the process of loading and pre-processing datasets, which is crucial for training models. And the Trainer API abstracts away much of the complexity involved in model training including data loading, optimization, and evaluation. This makes it easy to fine-tune models with custom datasets and hyperparameters. With Hugging Face, you can not only fine-tune models, but also self-host them to elevate your applications. Self-hosting means running a machine learning model on your own servers or local machines rather than relying on a third-party service. Self-hosting provides full control over your model environment. It allows you to customize the setup to your specific needs and keeps all data within your infrastructure for enhanced privacy. Here is a Python script to download and load model from Hugging Face for self-hosting. The model is downloaded from the Hugging Face database using the pipeline function. The line 23 download the model and tokenizer from Hugging Face's database. In this example, I have used FastAPI to set up an endpoint analyze where you can send text data and receive predictions from the model. UVCon here is a server used for running Python web applications, specifically those built with frameworks such as FastAPI. This command uvcon.run starts the UVCon server serving the FastAPI applications on host 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0, which means it will accept connections from any IP address and port 8000. You can then send a POST request to this URL with text data to get predictions from the model. Now, while self-hosting gives you a greater control, 
it also demands some serious technical know-how. You will need to be comfortable with the server management, deploying models, and keeping everything up to date with latest security patches. Not to mention, there is this initial investment in hardware and potential limits on scalability as your needs grow. This is where cloud hosting steps in. Cloud providers like AWS, GCP, and Azure, which offer robust services for hosting and utilizing AI models. AWS Bedrock is a key service in this space, providing access to a variety of pre-built AI models in the cloud. So to get started, you simply sign up for an AWS account if you don't have one. Next up, install the AWS CLI. This handy tool lets you to control your AWS services right from your terminal. You can simply use pip to install it. Now, open your terminal and run AWS configure. Enter your AWS access key, secret key, region, and output format. This configures the CLI to work seamlessly with your AWS account. Now, AWS Bedrock requires you to request access to specific models like the powerful Llama 3.0. So head over to the AWS Management Console, navigate to Bedrock, and submit your request. This script here sends a request to the Llama 3.0 model with the text, what is the weather like today? And then it prints the response. Now, while not widely available, GitHub Models is expected to bring some unique advantages to the AI landscape. One of the biggest benefits could be seamless integration with GitHub ecosystem. The curated collection of models in the GitHub Models can help developers discover new and relevant models for their specific needs, saving time and effort in searching for the right tool. GitHub Models on the GitHub Marketplace is a place for developers to explore and experiment with curated selection of top AI models, all linked to your GitHub account. Here, you can even showcase your newest additions such as GPT-40. First, you can input an initial user prompt to interact with the model. Using the playground, you can adjust parameters like the system prompt and temperature to control the randomness. After making these adjustments, you can send user prompts to see how the model responds in various scenarios. Next, you can switch to a different or smaller model and evaluate its performance. You can also navigate to model's details page to find more information through readme, evaluation, and transparency tabs. With a decision made, you can start using the models in the code. By clicking the code button, you can access getting started instructions. Additionally, you can use a GitHub code space to create a pre-configured development environment with SDKs and samples. The model API calls utilize the entitlements associated with your GitHub account. And since the code space recognizes you, there is no need to add an API key or sign up for other services to begin experimenting in code. You can update the streaming sample to use and adjust the prompt and continue your testing. So imagine being able to directly access powerful AI capabilities within your code repositories and experiment with various LLMs in one place. Of course, it's important to note that these are just potential benefits based on the current information available. We'll have to wait for wider access to GitHub models to see how they truly impact the development landscape. But the possibilities are certainly exciting and we can anticipate a future where AI seamlessly integrates into our development workflows, making us more efficient, creative, and productive than ever before.